Good morning, everybody. Welcome to yoga. Child's pose. Let's start simple. Tips of the big toes together. I'd like to see the quality of your yoga practice and the quality of your child's pose right now. It's a pretty experienced room. If it's new to you, just get acquainted. Lots of nice examples of the postures here. Bring the tips of the big toes together. Separate your knees as wide as you comfortably can. Fill some space in your sacrum. Your hands should be shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers. Walk your hands out in front of you so you can feel space through your back, through your shoulders. And get a good hand lock. All the postures start from the ground up. With the eyes open, this is a breath exercise that begins with the inhale. Take a long, slow, huge inhale through the nose. Make the lungs as big and uncomfortably full as you can make them. Everybody, big, full lungs. Hold the lungs big. Spread them high, long, and wide, and just hold it. Stay in contact with it. And exhale into your yoga practice. Like I'm gently pulling you back and pressing you down from your tailbone, hips to the heels. Just feel a little bit of space. Settle in. Heavy into the floor. Awareness of breath, eyes on drishti, move with the flow of the yoga class, big muscle groups, support strong postures. It's really simple stuff, guys. Stay, keep it simple today. Do you have injuries I'm unaware of? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I should have found out before. Come to a hands and knees position. Do no harm. Come to a hands and knees position. Third eye drishti, if you can see yourself in the front mirror, it's a deep room. Sometimes you can't get a drishti. So everybody's eyes should be off the floor right now. And establishing a posture strong through your core and a hands and knees position. Exhale, round your back and look into your navel. Exhale, eyes open, exhale, all the air from the lungs, round your back. That's all I've been even instructed to do, just empty your lungs and look into your navel. Inhale slowly, open the chest up as you look up towards the ceiling, pushing your buttocks up. Use the full six seconds, try to move with the flow of the yoga class. Exhale, so it's a long, slow flow. Some of you need to slow down a little bit and use the full six seconds. I don't want you to lollygag either, play with the band today. Inhale. We're setting up our flow for the entire yoga class right now. Moving at the flow of the class. Push your buttocks up high. Exhale. There we go. Just like Bikram Pranayama, deep breathing. Exactly. Just settling into our yoga class by settling into Pranayama, deep breathing. Inhale. Some of you need to slow way down there. I want you to be moving that entire time with the breath. Exhale. Use the full six seconds. Move slowly and smoothly. That's going to be the whole class. Long, slow flow. Inhale. Exhale. Like there's a string in your middle back. That's where it starts from. Like I'm lifting the string straight up through your middle back all the way up. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Let the breath return to normal. Look into the front mirror. Engage your core. Find a drishti. Again, if you can't see yourself in the mirror, find a costume, something you can look at, and bring your right arm forward and left leg back. It is important you keep your eyes off the floor here. Body tends to follow the eyes. When you drop your gaze, I see the chest drop, the chin drops, the chest drops, the back rounds. We want that nice solid core here. To me, basically, you're doing a plank right now on your hand and on your knee. I want you strong to grow. And I'm looking at nice examples. Unless you have neck issues, I do want you to keep your eyes off the floor here and try to look in the front mirror if you can see yourself in the mirror. And bring it out to the side, arm and leg out to the side. Lift into your posture. There's no oops. You can touch your neighbor a little bit. It's all intent, right? Bring the leg as far forward as you can. So really own your space. Bring your leg up and forward. This isn't a very big room today. And reach forward and back. Our July weather is here. Keep your core strong. So some of you need to bring your right shoulder back and left hip forward a little bit, really squaring yourself to the front. I call it swimmer shoulders. Inhale up. Thank you for not anticipating there, guys. That was really nice little hold there, by the way. And then work that hard and feel. You look up, inhale up, and then keep working it. Don't just stay there and hold it. Every inhale, you're seeing if you can work it open a little bit more, easing the door open. This is a beautiful example of it. Hands and knees looking forward, not on the floor. Engage your core first and bring the left arm forward and right leg back. Long and strong. That's what I call it. I call that for 20-some years. Draw your abs and middle ribs in and get nice and long and strong. You're lifting to lengthen. I want you all to get that feeling of lifting to lengthen, nice and flat. These are beautiful holds, everybody. Just stay strong and stay in your breath. Once you got a nice hold, just, that's it. Stay in the hold and bring it out to the side. Settling into these holds is a big deal, guys. Just 
No, no expectation, no anticipation. Stay in big muscle groups. Stay in the breath to stay in the strong holds. This is a strong hold. You're lifting your body weight against gravity right now. So continue to lift, use big muscle groups. Lift into it. You can be as good at this as you want to be. And reach forward and back. And just get nice and long and strong first, folks. Stretch down the room nice and long and strong. You don't anticipate. You didn't on the other side. You bring your arm up a little bit unless there's injury. And inhale up. Look up. Lift up. Being intentionally repetitive, I want you to inhale to that hard stop or hard end feel, and then you're going to continue to work it. You're going to breathe into that hard end feel and open up the chest and stretch out. Beautiful. Continue to keep your right leg locked. Inhale up, look up. Inhale up. Every inhale, work it. Hands and knees. Eyes are off the floor, please. Tuck the toes and press back to down dog. Now the gaze changes to between the toes. Right between your big toes. Stretch your mat long. Traditionally looking at the navel in a down dog. That's not comfortable, is it? Using a throat lock. Reach the heels to the floor. We don't want to use that throat lock in the hot room. Reach the heels to the floor. And then pivot to a plank. Looking in the front mirror. In transition. Engage your core. Bring the left hand to center. Bring the left knee on the ground under the hip. Look at the tip of the right thumb. And rotate your right hand up. There's a simple set sequence we do a lot around here. We might stay fairly close to that today. I'd like you to get nice and solid here. Not thinking about advancing the posture. Not thinking about anything, but it's nice and strong. Lifting high on the wall. That's the feeling I want you to get, like you're lifting high on the wall and flattening your back onto the wall. And if you would like to advance it, bring your right leg up and right arm forward. I love that you're here, to be quite honest. Wrap your right lat around towards your chest so your middle back is wide. Try not to sit in the bottom left arm. Cloud's got a real nice example of that pushing out of the bottom shoulder. So when you push out of the bottom shoulder, flatten your back out. Flatten your back out. You. And bring the foot down and hand up. Tip of the thumb, drishti, long and strong. And rotate the right hand down. Bring it to center, right knee on the ground. Look at the tip of the left thumb, rotate up. So not in any hurry today. Long and strong on your wall. Tip of the thumb, drishti. Tip of the thumb, breath is number one, drishti is number two, where you're looking, unless you have neck issues, your gaze should be the tip of the left thumb. So again, I'm going to be repetitive today on these simple things, because that's what matters is that you guys are consistent on these simple things. You're engaging your core, getting flat on the wall, it's almost, and then you're lifting high on the wall, lifting through your left lat, a little muscle called serratus is helping you a little bit. Gaze has to be up here, guys. And then advance the posture. You listen to the dialogue. And just follow the dialogue. I, I ideally don't want you to think a lot. I want you to hear with the ears and do with the body. It's a Kriya class. So get nice and present with it. Lift into the posture. Fall back if you fall. And bring your foot down and hand up. Look back up to the tip of the thumb. Fall back if you fall. I don't know why I let you hide back here. This is beautiful. Stay there. Strong. Engage through core. High on your wall. Not anticipating release. I hear all of that. Get flat on the wall. Lift your chest up. And rotate the left hand down. Gaze is in the front mirror as you engage your core in Chaturanga. And press to down dog. Chaturanga is the high hold, folks. Up to everybody. Just come to down dog. Up dog if you lowered. Come to down dog now. Pivot to a plank. So eyes go forward to the front mirror and transition. Lower slowly. Move forward. Up dog. Inhale. Look all the way to the back. Press the thighs off the floor. That's all. Down dog, roll over the toes and press back. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. Pivot to a plank, looking forward. Lower slowly, moving forward. Let's get in the flow, guys. Up dog, inhale. There's not a hurry. That doesn't mean we're in a hurry. Down dog, exhale, roll over the toes. It just means you're hearing with the ears and doing it by stretch the mat long and you're down dog. Get good hand locks. Down dog, start with good hand locks. Tempted to go right into A series, but I'll hear a bit about it later when I get home from Claudia that I did. Move the left foot to center, lock your right leg out, and reach back. So stretch back, reach back, like I'm taking you by the ankle and pulling you back out of the right shoulder. Get a good reach. The rag doll's important, so I just want you to stretch long here. Just so, so I, some of you are bending your knee and hooking. I did not tell anybody to do that. I just want you to stretch nice and long, get out of the shoulder. So that's the feel I want you to get. Does that feel different? Can you maintain it? Now stretch through your left heel. 
and return the right foot to the left. Lock your left leg out and reach back through the ball of the foot. So both legs are locked as you reach your right heel to the floor. You're stretching your left leg back. So I'm looking for a nice three-legged dog here. We're not flipping the dog. We're not bending the knee. It's just stretching long. It's a different feel I want you to get of stretching long all down the left side of the body. If I pull you back, I can't bring you back any further. You're already there. That's a huge difference, isn't it? And then step your left foot up between the hands. Step the right foot up. Stand hip width the part at the top of the mat. No judgment. Hold your elbows and hang in ragdoll pose. No judgment of anything. Right here, right now. It's not good. It's not bad. This is ragdoll right now, whatever it is. If it can be better, I don't know what that means for you. Maybe you can soften your face and jaw up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe you need to soften your knees and pull your low abdomen towards your thighs a little bit and let the elbows really pull you further forward and towards the floor. I let the elbows pull me forward and towards the floor. Let the hands slip away from the elbows. So just as soft as you can be through here. Just as soft as you can be. And on an inhale, begin your process of rounding up. Slow enough you can feel each and every vertebra. That's you. Stack on top of the last, but as efficiently, as effectively as you can do it. It's very important the upper back and the neck stack nicely. When that happens, step your right foot back to left, toes and heels together at the top of the towel or mat, Tadasana. Inhale the arms out, back and up over the head. Touch the palms. Look up, stretch up. Mike, own your space. Swan dive slowly, chin away from the chest, flat back together. Move with the exhale to the floor. Just pretend like you've done it a thousand times. Halfway lift, look forward, play the yoga game today. Step or jump back, keep your eyes in the mirror, in transition to chaturanga. Come on down, everybody. Up dog, inhale, pull forward, look all the way back, press the thighs up. Down dog, exhale, roll over the toes. Moving smoothly through a series. First of all, is this your best down dog? About half the class I can really see you're caring about, and about half, the, about half the class was kind of waiting to do the next thing there. This is not a waiting posture. This is a really powerful restorative yoga posture, downward dog, guys. We're not just hanging out, waiting for another A series. Soften the knees, coil a spring, look ahead of you. Always back to breath. Step, jump. If you can float today, float between the hands. Halfway lift, be patient. Flatten the back here with the inhale. Exhale, take it deeper into a forward bend. No worries. Come up, inhale. There's no right or wrong. Come up today. There's no mistakes. Everybody up now. Look up. And swan dive slowly. Watch yourself in the mirror as long as you can. Soften the knees. Keep the back flat, please. Halfway lift. Most, most of you should be softening the knees there. Step or jump back. Lower slowly, smoothly. Too many eyes on the floor. Stay in flow. Up dog, inhale, look all the way to the back of the room. Down dog, exhale, and come to plank on the forearms. Why? There are reasons why. There are always reasons why. I'll tell you why. I can't get you guys together. We got a I can show you on film. I can't get you guys together right now. So we're all going to get together here. This is not a punishment. <laughs> this is the best way I know to build core strength, period. I don't know of anything better to really build core strength than what you're doing right now. I want you to engage your abs and engage your thighs. And this isn't a see who could, last man standing type thing. I, I want you to really create a burn. I want you to try to fail. I want you to squeeze your abs and thighs so tightly. And if your knees are on the ground, that is fine. Pull your knees and elbows together and engage your abdominal muscles. But again, I want you to squeeze it hard and find the burn, not just find a place you can hang out here. And if you start to collapse the hips like you're doing right now, instead of collapsing, just fire your thighs. If you can't keep that nice plank, then you're going to drop down and come back up when you can. But hold it as long as you can. So again, if you start to collapse or lift the hips, you're coming out of your core. Come down and come back into it when you can. Stay there. I'm not talking to you. Please stay there. I heard all of that. And however you want to transition back to it, probably through hands and knees, we're going to come to a dolphin pose. Down dog on your forearms. So I basically want you to stay on your forearms and come to down dog. If you know the posture, you can just kind of do it. Otherwise, I'd come from hands and knees. If you're familiar, and I, I want your hands shoulder width apart, not interlace the finger. Interlacing the fingers would be an option here, but it's uh, taking about 30% probably off the posture, something like that. That's just a guess. So down dog on the forearms is what I call it. It's called dolphin pose. Hands shoulder width. Bring your hands out. Push the hand. Get a good hand lock. I want a good down dog hand lock on the floor, folks. And really stretch them out long as you reach your heels to the floor. Bring the left foot to center. Lock your right leg out and bring the right leg back. 
Continue to stretch long. Don't collapse into the shoulders and the upper back. Continue to reach the left heel to the floor. You're doing great. And return the right foot to the left. Keep pushing back, please. Best posture. Lock the left leg. Reach back. This is all we're doing here. I was going to do a bunch of abs, but I don't think we need to. Reach back. Unless Carla wants to do them. It's up to you. Stretch back. Reach back. Give me a leg, leg lock in the left leg. This looks real good. And just bring the left foot back down. Come to a hands and knees position. Move with me. Tuck the toes and press back to down dog. There's a release there. There's an opportunity for a release there. As soon as I, if I'm in this class, as soon as I hear hands in these position, there's a release there. B series, soften the knees, look out ahead of you. Step or jump between the hands. Halfway lift, lengthens the spine, look forward. To go deeper into forward bend. Sit into a chair and bring a basketball over your head. Spread your fingers and look up at the basketball. Push your butt back like a duck butt. What you thinking about down there? Sit down a little lower. Lift the chest up a little bit higher. Where'd you go? I went into it. Okay. Okay, you should have told me before you come into the room. Sit down a little. Do no harm. Sit down a little lower. Lift the chest up a little bit higher. I want a big duck butt, everybody. A big cobra spine as you lift through the chest. And fold, exhale, forward fold. Make it simple, not hard. Halfway lift, inhale. No judgment, that means. Step or jump back. Keep your eyes off the floor. Stop at your elbows and hold chaturanga just for a moment. Up dog, pull forward. Look all the way back. Downward facing dog. Roll over the toes and press back. This is way too short. Move your feet way back. Stretch your mat long. Reach your heels to the floor. Three-legged dog to warrior one. Inhale the right leg up. Lunge the right foot. Drop the left heel about 45 degrees. With the hips square to the mirror, inhale your arms out, back, and up. And ideally, just moving with that nice breath count there. I've got some newer students in the class, so I'm slowing down with dialogue a little bit. Right hip back, left hip forward. Lift your pubic bone to your navel. Nice warrior ones. So I'm looking at really nice postures. Diminish the angle of your back foot a little bit so you can square your hips. Lift your pubic bone to your navel. Draw your abs and middle ribs in. Flat back. Biceps with the ears. Good tight grip. I've got maybe a third of the class is thinking about grip right now. I want a good tight grip. Look up. The grip is from the elbows. It's a Bikram grip, lengthening the arms from the elbows. And warrior two. Exhale. That looks good. That looks good. So big warrior twos. Push your heel back a little bit. Diminish the angle of the foot and make it bigger all at the same time. Some of you can push your left heel back a little bit and diminish the angle of the back foot and make it a little bit bigger all at the same time. That's nice today. Nice and big, right thigh parallel to the floor, not leaning forward, not leaning back, just a little bit. Keep the squeeze, turn your palms up, and reach forward over the right leg. You can go in the gym, be able to put a lot of muscle on. Keep the squeeze, I see it. And reverse the posture. Wrap your right lat around so the middle back is wide, reaching space down the right side of torso, compression down the left side of torso. I just realized I hadn't picked on you yet, that's all. And cartwheel to a plank with your eyes in the front mirror. Lower with the exhale. I give you time for a little cheat inhale there. Up dog inhale because we're in a hot room. Down dog exhale. If we're not in a hot room, I don't, there's not that much time in that transition. I give you time to take an inhale at the top just to slow the class down a little bit in the heated environment. Inhale the left leg up. Lunge the left foot. Set it down softly and inhale. Move with inhale. Eventually, that's just an inhale, do an exhale in warrior two. Square the hips, flatten the back, lock your back leg and pull back on the left heel a little bit. Do you have a good grip? Where are you looking? I got a bunch of my black belts looking in the front mirror right now. I'm not sure why that is. If you have neck issues that you could look in the front mirror, the hands could be shoulder width, wrapping your lats around. But if it's healthy for your neck, you're looking up at the outside knuckle of thumb. And remember in our integration series, the drishti is more important than the posture to me. Breath is number one, drishti is number two. That's nice. And open warrior two, just open it right up with an exhale. Big exhale, opens it up, left thigh parallel. There you go. See your knee coming over your toes? That means it needs to be a little bit bigger. Make it bigger. Just make it bigger. You also, please. So lock the back leg, squeeze the heels together. I'd like everybody to Bikram bond to the back leg. That means like you have no knee. And if it feels like it wants to be bigger, let it be bigger. Give it the space it needs. You're doing just great. You put yourself right in the mix. 
Turn your palms up and reach forward over the right left, over the correct left leg. Pull back on your left heel. No, 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 I didn't say reverse. I just said pull back on your left heel. You're still extending the posture, reaching out. I want you in that burn. We did it on the other side. I, so I want you in the burn right now. I want you squeezing the heels, pulling back on the left heel, really active through your back right thigh. And reverse the posture. This is nice. The base isn't moving at all. Knee's bowing in a little bit, though. So we got to watch the knee. If you have tight hips, the knee kind of wants to bow in a little bit here. Uh, just be aware of it. I can tell Cloudy's aware of it because, well, because I've been training her forever is why. But I can tell she's thinking about it right now. She knows where her knee is. Reach the, wrap the lat, left lat around. Reach your right hand down. Don't collapse through the back right leg, folks. Some of you will collapse through the back right leg. And cartwheel to a plank looking in the mirror. Lower slowly. Take your time here. Chaturanga. Up dog inhale. The down dog exhale over the toes. Yay. It's working. Let's move right into triangle series today. Inhale the right leg up. Lunge the right foot, left heel 45 degrees is half of 90. Straighten both legs as you lift, lengthen, and rotate the body open. Both legs are straight as you're locking the front right leg. You're bringing as much weight as possible into the back left leg. It has to be at least equally distributed. I try to bring a little bit more weight in the back leg. It's tricky to do. Anchor your right hand down. I don't teach it on angar triangle. I want you to anchor your hand down and lift up out of the bottom shoulder. Your gaze is up, tip of the thumb, if it's healthy for your neck to look up. That's if it's healthy. So there's a wall. Can you lift on? That's a hard, no, that's a hard stop. That's a hard stop. I can't tell at all by looking there. And rotate the left hand in. You can't go more than that, can you? Lift the chest up. That's 100%. Square the hips. Diminish the stance a little if you need to. Take your right ankle with the left hand and reach up. Oftentimes, if I touch you in class, I can't tell by looking at you if you're at that hard stop or not. Sometimes it's to give you a feel of going deeper, stabilize a posture. This is not what I want here, though, and I know I've taught you this before. Look up, reach up. Look up, reach up. Oh, there you go. I've got a transmitter in my pocket. I'm trying not to get on you. I want to tuck the shoulder under here. And just stay right there in the breath. Lift up out of this finger. Can you lift up out of this finger with your right lat? And rotate the right hand back down. That's a tough posture for me. Move into balancing airplane pose. That's one of the most important postures in your yoga class, guys. Just keep doing your work. Don't judge it. Just do it. There's one thing I know about Russians. They make their shit stick. Make your shit stick. Yes? Open to half moon. It's true. Mr. Putin. I just like to say Putin. Open up high on the wall. Nice Colleen. Stay there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nah, I shouldn't have said anything. Lift into it. You got to continue. The, the weight's heavy. Lift into it. It's probably all we're doing, folks. Airplane. Lift the chest and leg. They're going to get heavier as we rotate. I did say probably. Right hand up, left hand down, looking at the floor. Lift. It's heavy. So the trick to this posture is it just gets heavier, lifting your body weight against gravity. Now you've got to lift to get back to airplane. We're always lifting the airplane, everything but the hip. We lift to lengthen. Warrior one, right foot forward. Move with me, please. Warrior one. Warrior two, exhale. Arms over the legs. Make it big. Right thigh parallel. You think this is bad? You should have seen me in my previous incarnation. Open the shoulders up. Give me some space through here. There's just so much space to be had there. Right elbow on the inside of the right knee with the chest lifted. Squeeze the heels. Push the knee back with the elbow and bind the posture, half bind the posture, stay right there. It is not more correct or more benefit to force a bind than I just extend if I were you. Then extend. I'm not a big fan of forcing binds. We never rip the door off the hinges. And if you've got to drop your chest way down, I was trained not to come out of a posture to go deeper. There are some exceptions to that. Keep the squeeze, keep your chest lifted and extend if you're bound. That's nice. I like that. And press back up to big warrior two. You're doing just fabulously. Squeeze your heels together and make it big. Look at breathe through your nose. Breathe you, breathe through your nose. Breathe, I should have moved you. And cartwheel to a plank. Looking in the front mirror, move the left hand to center. Stack the right foot on top of the left and rotate your right hand up. I don't think you need your knee on the ground, do you? Or do you have an injury? Nope, you don't. Did you already know I was going to be watching you on that? Because I know you're extremely intuitive. Look up to the tip of the thumb. Advance the posture. My yoga teacher used to talk about intuitive intelligence all the time. It's real. <laughs> intuitive intelligence is real. 
Beautiful. Stay in there, guys. Stay in there. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay wherever you are. Stay strong. Stay active. Keep the hips up. And rotate back to a plank. Cindy, really nice. Shorten that up a little bit and you get your, hip, get your hips up higher. Lower slowly. Move forward. Carefully your hamstring attachments. That's tight. Up dog. Inhale. Fire your thighs there, please. Standardize it. Exhale down dog. Are we having fun though? Now, right? Now we're having fun at least. It's not like that Bikram stuff. This is fun. Triangle on the left. Inhale the left leg up. Lunge the left foot, drop the right heel. Other left foot, Julia, or did you do the other side? There you go. <laughs> it's all good. So, and some days that's the only reason I'm here. So one of the reasons Bikram yoga is very simple, one of the reasons this is very simple, in the heated environment, it's really easy to kind of yeah, lose track of what, what, if you're right or left side, little simple things. I want that. I want you to move out of the left side of the brain. I want you to just be an observer practicing your yoga. I don't want it to be a really intellectual experience. Reach a little bit lower now. And make it a little bit longer now. The posture clinics are going to be good for you. I'm really glad you're in the course. Make your stances a little bit, not right now, but everything. I want everything bigger. I want basically everything bigger. And rotate the right hand down. Lift the chest, flatten the back, square the hips and shoulders to the front mirror. Good. Diminish it, the stance more so I can, yep. I'd stay, I'd shorten the stance a little bit to do that. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And then go for it, guys. Take your left ankle with the right hand and reach straight up. So I want, it's like there's a weight in your tailbone here in your sacrum. I want you to be able to put a glass of water on that little tabletop there and not spill it as you rotate. The twist is from the waist up. Tuck your right shoulder under, bring your chin into the left shoulder, and reach straight up out of the bottom shoulder. Grab your ankle. Grab your ankle. Now look up. Spread your fingers. Now stay here. Don't drop. You do it. And rotate the left hand down. Move into balancing airplane pose. Just keep doing it. It's okay to fall out of postures. It's okay to use resting postures. Work to that point you need to. Lift into that, Carla. Lift, lift, lift. Open to half moon pose. Don't be afraid of it. The stability is in the depth of the posture. Just keep your chest up. Just keep, don't move your eyes around and keep your chest up. I just said don't move your eyes around. Look at the floor. Lena, look at the floor. Airplane pose. Right back into airplane, please. Just strong airplane. That's all you're doing. Rotate, lift the leg. So foot lock, leg lock. It starts with good foot lock, leg lock. And then lift the chest, lift the leg, everything but the hip. Nice work, Colleen. Airplane, always lift the airplane. Give me a nice airplane. Bring the body down, bring the leg up a little bit. If you think I'm talking to you, I am. Warrior one, left foot forward. Stop talking to yourself, come to warrior one or use a resting posture. Warrior two, exhale. These are your options. Boom. Open that up. Smile as you watch yourself suffer. Look at the front mirror. It's nice and big. I will train you. If you show up, I'll build you a beautiful practice. This needs to be bigger. You feel that. You got long legs. Take that whole mat up. Take that whole mat up. Left elbow on the inside of the left leg. Push the knee back with the elbow. Take up space, folks. Take up space. Push the knee back with the elbow. And advance the posture. I've had some really tall people in here before, like really tall athletes, things like that. And some of, sometimes they've been kind of trained not to, take, not to really own their space and take up space. That's one of my biggest things. They, that's, they, that's the space they need, right? Take the space you need. We own your space. Always caring about your neighbor, obviously. But you need your space. Lift up. Lift up your chest. Lift up your chest. Lift up your chest. Don't lean on your thigh. You're laying on your thigh. Feel it? <laughs> and extend the posture. That's why you come here. I don't let you lay on your thigh. <laughs> True? And push back up. Big warrior twos, everybody. Finish with a big, strong warrior two pose. Make it big. Squeeze the heels. Come on into that, Ryan. Come on into that. Sit down into it. And cartwheel back to a plank. Thank you. Perfect. Right hand to center. Stack the left foot on top of the right. And rotate the left hand up. So if you're going to do that, really shorten the stance up more. And be careful of your hamstring attachments because you're really pulling on them. You're tight there. If you advance it, advance it. Thank you. I got to be a little air because I'm so proud of you. <laughs> fall back if you fall. No judgment. If you're in resting posture, that's where you need to be. Stack your foot. Nope. Stack it. Like this. And look up. You're doing great. And rotate to a plank. Look in the front mirror. Caroline, beautiful. And lower. Slowly move forward. You learned that here, right? Inhale, up dog, because that's the way I teach it. And if you learned it somewhere else, it's good. Down dog. 
Yeah, people teach these postures very differently. There's no real right or wrong anymore. Hasn't been for a long time. Iyengar and Patabi Joyce had the same yoga teacher, and they have to teach postures completely differently, different philosophy, really a di totally different philosophy, as does Indra Devi and Desikachar, who all had the same yoga teacher. Soften the knees, coil of spring, look out ahead of you. Step, jump, or float between the hands. Nice, Jamie. Halfway lift, float, float, you can do it. Forward bend, fall forward, you'll do it. Come up, inhale, flat back up, everybody. You can't be afraid to fall forward if you want to float, folks. Bring the prayer to the heart, because you're gonna, until you learn to stick there. Bring your arms to your side. <sighs> I'm always afraid I'm going to get a protest here from a certain student. Step six inches to the right with the right foot, heels behind the toes. Bring your arms up in front of you, shoulder height, shoulder width, thumbs with the fingers. Smile as you watch yourself suffer. Lift the chest with inhale. Sit back, exhale. So this is the only place I can really be me with you, Claudia. And you married me. So this is the person you married. That's what gets me. <laughs> okay? Sit down a little further. Lift your chest up a little more. Get a must-reach feeling as you sit back into your heels. If you drop your arms, you fall immediately on your butt. And slowly come back up. We're doing this for you. Come on, the tips of the big toes. There's not much more standing series, folks. Lift the knees to lift the heels. Tuck the tailbone and descend your imaginary wall. Lift the knees to lift the heels with your upper back on the wall. Coming as low as you can. Stretching through the arches of the feet is priority. Lift the knees, lift the heels, upper back right on your edge. Wherever that is. Wherever that is today. If you're going to do it, do it. I'd stop right there, Julia. Just up. And lift, push against the wall to come up. Nice. Rock down. Stay there, guys. We're almost done. Come up an inch or two only. Squeeze the inner thighs and knees together. I'm giving you nice fresh air here. Tuck the tailbone and descend your imaginary wall. Squeeze the knees together. Slide down your wall. Upper back on the wall. Eyes off the floor. Everybody's eyes need to be off the floor, not sitting on the heels. Jamie, squeeze up one inch. Everybody squeeze up one inch higher on the wall. And then push against the wall as you squeeze and come up with control. Rock down when you're up. Right foot back to left. Arms at your side. Even after all that. Standing pose. Eagle pose. Inhale your arms over there. Touch the palms together. Long arms. Bikram grip. Right arm under the left arm. We'll do it Bikram style today. Arms down. Elbows down. Sit down deep into a chair. Lift your chest up high. Duck butt. Chest up. Lift the right leg up and over the left leg. Trying to stay low in a lunge. I mentioned it early in class. The way I was originally trained, I'm talking about when I was a little kid, we didn't come out of postures to go deeper into them. There are some exceptions to that, maybe in some advanced postures, but not very many. Push the buttocks back, lift the chest up higher. Can everybody lift the chest up as high as you can here, please? That was a big difference. Thank you. And change. That's what I want. Inhale your arms up. That's what I want the whole time, guys. Left arm under the right arm. That's a big difference. Arms down, elbows down. Keep your chest lifted. Sit down into a chair. Push your butt back. And then just confirm your chest is as high as it can be. Lift your chest up and bring the left leg up and over. Not affirm, confirm. Sit down deeper. Bring your knees to the left as you coil your spring. If your foot isn't wrapping, you're not forcing it. It's tight hips. And they'll open through yoga. Just practice your yoga. Sit down lower. Lift your Everybody chest up as high as you can. Chest up. You chest up. And change, come back up, inhale, long arms up, looking forward. Relax your arms to your side, put your water down. You already knew I was going to yell at you before you did it. True or false? True or false? Left hand reaches to the ceiling. Yes, you did. Bring the right hand back behind you. Grab the ankle from the inside. You're doing great. It's our last standing posture. Then you get a water break all, all straight up. Kick back, reach forward. You don't even have to cheat. Just have a water break. Open up your bow. So lean and just open your shoulders. Don't lean forward. Lift your chest up and stretch your shoulders. Kick and reach. I don't want it. So no students should never feel like they're dropping the chest in a standing bow. You're always lifting the chest. You're lifting the arms up. You're kicking so hard now you can only fall forward. I'd really like you to drive the body parallel to the floor if you can. Left shoulder and the chin. Drive it forward. Drive, drive, drive. Come out nicely. Please don't fall out of it. Reach for base. Standing pose. That's nice. Eyes off the floor. Standing pose. Right hand reaches up. This is your last standing posture. Bring the left hand back behind you. Pick up the ankle from the inside. 
Touch your knees together first. Bring the knee in tight. And then don't do anything. Kick straight back. Reach straight forward. Oh, shit, he's going to pick on me. Extend all the way. And now this is what I want you to feel. Don't lift your chest and open. Open. Lift your chest up and open. Make the bow. Stay right there. There's where your work is. Do you feel it? Now breathe into it and kick the stretch. Kick the stretch. Lift your chest up and kick the stretch. Kick the stretch. And come out nicely. Lift for your base. Reach. I know. I know. Reach. Lift. Lift. Standing pose. Dead pose. And let it go. Ideally, this is not a water break. And if it is, I didn't see it. Quick splash, because really, truth, I've got three physicians in the room, two. Uh, any water you're drinking right now isn't going to rehydrate you by the end of your class, folks. Show up hydrated, hydrate after you leave class. It's just, I mean, you can hook yourself up to an IV if you want to hydrate quicker. But, but truth, I mean, it's just the truth. It's going to take a couple of hours. Depending, there's all kinds of variables, right? How much food you have in your tummy, how dehydrated are you? Close your eyes for a moment. So it's just kind of a, when we go for that water break here, it's just kind of that left side of the brain looking to get away from being present in our yoga practice in that transition. True. The left side of the brain does not want you to forget that it exists. So it always has something to say to you, something to remind you about, something about the past, anxiety about the future. The right side of the brain only knows this moment. True. You have two different brains. The right side of the brain has no concept other than right here, right now. That's where I want you to learn to go. We're not concentrating against thought, resisting it. We're just effortlessly slipping to the right through intent. And it's an innocent intent. That body part. It's in your heart, not in your head, closer than touch. Excellent. Please remain in dead body pose. Slowly open the eyes. Let's have a nice flow and just move through it. Inhale your arms over that. Move with me. Flex your feet back. Cross the thumbs. Dive for the toes. Double pump. Double exhale. Forward to the knees. Cobra series. Lie down on your tummy. Spinal strengthening. Face the front mirror. Bring your hands under your shoulders, arms closed, elbows high. Most of you all know these postures, almost everybody. i got a couple of people they might be new to. They're really simple, like you're playing a game with a bunch of little kids. Let's just do them and move through them. Hands under the shoulders, elbows high. Lock your legs all the way. No bend in the knees, no space. We're zip them up tightly and inhale, pull up. Cloudy, did you say that? I think you do. I got that from somebody. You say that? Zip your legs up. Let's push the feet into the floor. I'm trying to figure out where I got it. Pull the elbows back. Believe it or not, you influence me. Bring the ribs up. Lock the legs. Squeeze them tightly and breathe. Stay in your hold here, guys. Let's go work that hard and feel here just for a moment. Work that hard and feel here. Can you ease the door open a little more? And down slowly. Nice hold. Left ear on the ground. Beautiful hold. Arms at your side. Palms up and let it go. I might be the only hot yoga teacher in the country that sees it this way. I've never heard anybody else say it. But to me, the yoga is so much more you can let it go than you can do it. It isn't even... The yoga is that you can release. <laughs> the mind, not just the body, not just the breath, the mind. You can release the mind. And again, we're, we're intelligent. We know what's going on. It's the left side of the brain, really, that we want to move away from. Chin flat on the floor. Set up the same posture right down to a good cobra's tail. Bring the heels of the hands to the hips. Lock your legs. Let's be all business here and work through this. Squeeze your legs tightly. Heels of the hands back to your hips, all the way to your waistline. And on inhale, push your chest up and lift your thighs up. Push hard. Shoulders should be the same height as the elbows. Thank you for hearing me. Lock your legs out and lift your upper thighs out. That was really obvious you heard me. Thank you. Lock it out and lift it up and push even harder. Push harder. You hear me really well. Push it up. Lock it out. Squeeze it tight. Legs up. Where's your cobra's tail, young lady? Squeeze it. Why do you never smile? And come down slowly. Right here on the ground. Look left. Dead body pose. 
Arms at your side, palms up. Chin flat on the floor. Pick up your hips. Yeah, let's do it. Arms under the body, palms down. Spread your fingers. Look in the front mirror. Get your elbows as close as you can. Spread your fingers. Try to touch the tips of the pinkies together. Relax your left leg. Lock your right leg and pick up your locked right leg. Thank you, Mike, but I'm a yoga teacher. You're here for you, but thank you. <laughs> and you would be a wonderful yoga teacher. I saw that. <laughs> Squeeze it, and God bless you. Lock it out, lift it up, but you're here for you. Squeeze it and bring the right leg down. Relax the right leg, lock the left leg, and pick up the locked left leg. You should do just great. <laughs> just great. Bottom of the foot flat to the ceiling. Stretch back, stretch back. You're still in posture. Where are you going on me today? And bring it down really nice. Bury the face in the towel. Move your hands closer to the knees, elbows closer to each other. Bury your face, lock the legs out, and on inhale, push both legs up. Bury your face, bury your face. Kiss the towel, kiss the towel. I don't want you to, you're like, you, you, you. You think I'm talking to you? Now push hard. Push really hard. Like you're pushing a car that's out of gas up a hill. You can't stop pushing. Even if it's not moving, you have to push into it. Keep pushing into it. Keep breathing into it. Everybody up. Down slowly. Left ear on the ground. Look right. Dead body pose. And just settle right back into that stillness. There shouldn't be anything to say here. Right back into that stillness. Chin flat on the floor. Hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers. We'll do three versions of Salabhasana in one posture here. Really Shalabhasana. Lock your legs out. Make a cobra's tail. Bring your arms high. And then inhale everything up off the ground. Inhale everything up. Reach your hands towards your heels. Lock your legs out. So challenge yourself to find that hard stop here. Can you bring your arms higher, please? Arms up. Bring your arms up off your butts. And then arms out to the side. Lock them out. Bring them out to the side like airplanes. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze right here. It squeeze really hard. Hands out in front of your shoulder width. Bring your feet to hip width. Bring your feet. You can't work any harder than that. Fit. Look up. Look up. Lift up. Everybody up. Work that hard and stop here. Please stay in your posture. And down slowly. Everybody comes out when you do. Right here on the ground. Look left. Dead body pose. And let it go. Face is soft, the jaws relaxed, let it go. Chin flat on the floor, bend the knees, bring your heels to your hips, grab your feet, thumbs of the fingers, two inches below the toes. Press your lower abdomen into the floor, and on the inhale, extend both legs up. Some of your feet are a little wide. So drive the weight forward. Bikram Dialogue says kick back. I tell you to kick up. If you're kicking back, it's to kick the hips up and kick the weight forward. So the, there is kind of a back kick, but you're lifting up as you're doing it. You're lifting the chest. You're lifting the hips up. Good example of it right there. You could probably feel like you're kicking back and go forward and come down slowly because you got that hard stop. Left ear on the ground. Look right. Dead body pose. Chin flat on the floor. Bend the knees, bring the heels to the hips. If you'd like to do a very, actually, everybody, grab your ankles. Feet, knees, heels, about hip width. Try not to have your knees too wide, please. Grab your ankles and flex your toes back towards your shins so you can actually feel you're grabbing below the pivot point of your ankles. So flex your toes back all the way to your shins this way. Press the knees into the floor and kick straight back to the back wall. Try to keep the thighs and knees on the floor as you kick straight back. Kick straight back. You're doing the work. Keep the grip. Kick, kick, kick. You can do it. Kick much deeper. You can kick much deeper here. Kick, kick, kick. Trust me and kick. Trust me and kick, 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 kick. And come down slow. Control, please. Right here on the ground, look left, dead body pose. It's just a little sticky spot you need help through, but that's where you need to be deep. And roll over onto your back, happy baby. You're doing just fabulously. Stay with me, you're almost done. I'll tell you what I'll do. See, I'm Swedish, not Russian, I'm compassionate. <laughs> Pull the knees down towards the floor. <laughs> I hear all that self-talk. You should swear a lot in Russian to yourself. Pull the knees down towards the floor and kick into the hands. You sure work hard. Bring the breath back to the nose. That, that's what this is all about. It's your very best. Squeeze all the juice out of the orange, right? That's, that's the whole Bikram philosophy, the Kriya philosophy. Kill the body, kill the mind, what's left. All Kriya I know, with the exception of TM, is intense. 
It's that extremity that is God's opportunity. Release the legs down. You're practicing just right. And then find an ease in a dead pose. Just everybody, try to find an ease in a dead pose. You can't do it if you're time-bound. At least I don't know how to teach you to do it if you're time-bound. And I don't know how to do it if I'm time-bound. you got to start there. The space that we want to learn to be in is a timeless, desireless space of being. You've got to start there. Get out of this whole time thing. Out of the whole right and wrong. Good or bad. Inhale your arms over there. Flex your feet back. Cross the thumbs. Dive for the toes. Double pump. Double exhale. Do the best you can here. These postures are important for you. Come to the top of the towel. Stand on the knees. We talked about how to do this last time you were here. Camel pose. Lift to your thighs. Do you have an injury issue going on? Okay. And go for it, guys. B- maximum back bend. Whatever you're doing, make a maximum back bend here. Maximum back bend. Go back supported. Then if you want to reach back, you can. You don't have to. But keep the hips forward. Keep that bow tension as you lift through the chest, breathing through your nose, eyes open. Look back further to go back further. Everybody, look back, go back. Please stand postures, active thighs, breath. Come up supported, lengthen up. Hips to heels, always sit back and release. And come to dead body pose. Don't hurry out. Dead body pose. And just surrender. And just make it so simple. And just make it so simple. The more simple, the better. I'm a big advocate of the KISS principle, right? I just spell it with one S. Keep it simple. The reason that they say, you all know what KISS principle is? Keep it simple, it's stupid, they say. They don't really, it doesn't really mean you're stupid. It means that in extremities that you don't think is what it really means. So it has to be so simple that even if you are stupid, you still, <laughs> right? Back release of your choice. That's really what it means. Back release of your choice. I had a big argument with somebody that was a superior of mine. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Pull the knees to the floor. <laughs> and come into shoulder stand pose. And he explained it to me. You are in this situation, you are. Oh, he was right. Stretch your legs up. Do no harm. It is important to get the legs over the heart, ideally heart overhead, ideally. Let blood drain. So we want a throat lock here. So a lot of y'all need to move your hips to the front wall and legs up. Let's make a nice posture here. It's like, like an inverted tree. I want a good cobra's tail, ideally from the shoulders up. You're nice and flat on the wall. That would be the ideal. And why don't people like to do that? Because it's hard. It takes a lot of core strength. And you're really lifting your chest, bringing your chest to your chin. It's not chin to chest. You're lifting your chest up to your chin. The throat lock is part of the posture. Making it deeper when we go into plow pose is also part of the posture. And come to plow pose, making the throat lock deeper. This is why we don't start with plow pose. If you travel and you do other systems of yoga, they have you go plow pose to shoulder stand. That doesn't make any sense to me. That was not the way that I learned it as a little kid. And we, we don't want to go from, a, from a, a deeper posture to a less. We want to start with shoulder stands not as deep as this, is it, for most of you all? This is deeper posture. So we're working our way into the deeper posture. We want that intense throat lock here as you lift your chest to your chin. Again, that, that throat lock is a big part of this posture right now, giving you energy for after your class. Wow, that's just Perfect, Claudia. Like picture perfect. Come down also, Colleen, that looks real good. Come down, right knee in the chest, left leg down. It was like picture perfect. Left leg down. That's why you're getting all those images without somebody helping you. And twist. You've already been trained. Twist. Do the twist. Nice job, guys. Well-trained room. If it's new, do you get acquainted? A lot of There's people in this room that I've literally been training for 20, was it four years now. Pat, Mike couple of you. I think there's a couple others. A long time. You survived, though. Get that look of shock out of your face. You look like you just ran away from a bear in the woods. Come back to center position. <laughs> and this is me in my nice day. Bring the right leg down and left leg up. You did a real good job. And twist. I'm going to, again, be repetitive. I want you to squeeze all the juice out of the orange. So we can surrender in dead body pose. So what Bikram Yoga is designed to do. The whole standing series Bikram says would be unnecessary, except for the fact that we have such busy Western minds. Kill the body, kill the mind. 
The yoga starts on the floor, right? Working for the dead pose. Back to center position, get a little back release. It's really surrender that we just worked for. Not dead pose, it's surrender. And surrender into dead body pose. Don't worry about anything. Everybody get yourself right into dead body pose. Close your eyes. Put yourself right here, right now, like you haven't done anything and like you're not going to do anything. Put yourself right here, right now, not in your head, in your heart. The Bible says I am closer than breath. Bhagavad Gita says I am nearer than near. Who is closer than breath? What is nearer than near? I am. I am. Seated in the heart, take a long, slow, huge inhale through the nose, closer than breath. And fall. Yoga is the stillness and the silence. It's not the activity. Let the dust settle. Conquer haste and let go struggle and let the dust settle. Just breathe. Innocent. This is the yoga, and this is not at all fragile. Please remain in dead pose as long as you'd like. Namaste. Namaste.